Hi, today we're going to prepare this Ayrshire heifer for breeding. We're going to artificially inseminate her, so we need to have a time. And she's not showing heat good for us, so we're going to um, manipulate her hormones to know when she's going to ovulate so that we can breed her and get her bread. This is a heat hatch. It comes like this on a paper. That's our barn cat Cheeto. It comes on a paper like this. It's a sticker and you put it on and you can see a little bit of green. So when the other cows ride her, you don't have to have a bull. The cows will ride each other and scratch that off and you know they're in standing heat. But she hasn't done that for us and these are old stickers. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna give her a shot of GnRH, which is Sister Ellen. And that will cause her to ovulate any follicles she has already. Then we're going to put in an Easy Breed Cedar, which is a progesterone in implant that we're going to put it in her vagina and it will stay there for seven days. And when we pull it out, we'll give her another Lutalize shot, which will make her go ahead and start her heat cycle. And then we'll know exactly when to breed her. So this is a insert gun, a Easy Breeder insert gun. And I want to use gloves because it's hormones and we don't want to play with hormones. So I'm just going to put on some exam gloves that fit me. And then I'm going to clean because we don't want to get anything dirty inside of her. So I have a, a wet rag prepared with some sanitizer on it. So I'm going to clean her really well because again, we don't want to put dirt inside of her. We want to clean because we don't want an infection to deal with. So she's not exactly clean. So we'll keep going. Okay, and she's not going to like this, but it's not going to hurt her. Okay, so I'm going to take a cedar, and they come in a pack of 10, so they're not cheap because you have to buy 10 at a time. Now this is how it works. It has wings that are going to hold it in her vagina for seven days. It has a little tail so we can pull it out when it's time to pull it out. So when I insert it, these have to go up, and this has to go in like this, so when I pull it out, those will catch and keep it in. So here's my gun. I'm going to load it like this, tail up, and then I'm going to smash this end in here. Okay, now it's loaded. And when I push this, I'm going to do this one time so you can see it. When I push it, once I get it inside the cow, it's going to do this. And the wings are going to spread out, and it's going to stick. So now I'm going to reload it. And I'm going to put some lubrication on it because that will be kind. Put a little bit of lube on it. And all I'm going to do is push your tail over. And you have to go up. There's an up angle. You don't want to try to go into her bladder. And then there's a little pop over the broom of her pelvis. And then I'm going to just push it in. I'm going to take my gun out. And then there's this long string, and we'll cut that off a little bit. And again, we'll leave that for seven days. And that'll make her think she's pregnant. Not really, but she'll just stall her whole cycle. So whenever she's ready for us to make her come back into heat, we'll have a time so that we won't be guessing and we can get a baby out of it. Because dairy cows aren't very good to us if they're not making milk, which requires them having a baby. I hope you um, learned something.